Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Good Friday, 7th of April. This week, during Holy Week, we've been meditating on some of the events of Maundy Thursday and Good Friday as we've journeyed with Christ to the cross. Will we be changed by this encounter? We turn to our last Bible reading for this week. It's Matthew chapter 15 and verses 33 to 37. The Death of Jesus At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then at three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Aloy, Aloy, lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge filled with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so he could drink. Wait, he said. Let's see whether Elijah comes to take him down. Then Jesus uttered another loud cry and breathed his last. Amen. Can you really understand the events of Good Friday? I have to say that I struggle at times. Jesus is the Son of God. More than that, he is God the Son. So, on Good Friday, God goes and gets himself killed on a cross, suffering the cruel, excruciating death of a common criminal. Explain that. It's no wonder that Paul explains in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18, the message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction, but we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. It all seems like utter foolishness. Surely the point of God is that he is all-powerful, indestructible. How can we worship and offer our whole lives to a God who allows himself to be hanged to death? And yet, this moment is one of the most intense divine revelations. What we discover about the God who created us in this moment is that he chooses to reveal his power through powerlessness. The power of the cross is the power of selfless love, and there is no greater power in the universe. As Jesus dies, the powerful are shown to be utterly powerless. Those who indulge in handing out injustices are faced with God's justice. Those who oppress are placed under God's judgment. Those who pollute God's world face their day of reckoning. As we gaze upon Jesus on the cross, and as his life ebbs away, we see a world transformed by love. Our sin is overcome by his love. Our selfishness is replaced by his selflessness. What can we do in response? Simply love as Jesus loved. We may not fully understand it all, but the cross must become our lifestyle. We must offer our lives as a living sacrifice to those who have nothing. As you think about these words today, this question may help you. When do you most often doubt God's love for you? I do hope to see you again soon for some more battle drills. But in the meantime, on this very special day, may God richly bless you. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.